uh, on the oneheaven.org site, the ecclesiastical deeds part. Yeah, R- read all that. And look, okay. if anything doesn't make sense, please go to university.uk.info or, as I say, the last resort, send me an, an email and obviously always help. But, but, but read it first and it should be straightforward, okay? University.org. No, 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 university.ucadia.info. That's the University of Eucadia website. But read all the notes about the ecclesiastical deed and membership, which are lo- located on one-heaven.org. Okay? okay? Okay, I wrote that. I wrote all that down. Thank you. Good on you. See you. Thanks. Uh, thanks so much. Again, is, a, is get involved in the forums because uh, there's a lot of general questions uh, that can be answered uh, out of the forums. Uh, next, we have Lynn. Uh, Lynn, you're on the air. Hi, Frank. I just have a question about um, the language you might use if you've encountered that the system is still maintaining that they're in charge. So you're going to say, fine, then you take care of the bill. Um, do you have a suggestion on that? I know you've been working on a lot of different things. Uh, and I want to share that one thing I have used, apparently with some success, is saying I do not give consent for any levy. Um, yeah. But, yeah. Okay. The short answer is the language is not there yet. So this is something that, that we're going to work on. I don't have a, a, a simple answer for you yet, but the the process of this knowledge has been evolving so quickly. For example, we didn't we we were not able to prove or understand about indulgences until three weeks ago. We weren't able to prove that every court case is the sacrament of penance until three weeks ago. So our ability to get the language right is coming very quickly, but the language, I think, will need to be focused very much on the presumptions they make under the powers of attorney, the Custodian Act, the Public Trustee Act. There's various acts that come together when we say that we're lost, abandoned, incompetent, or a minor. Each of those are touch points in their system, and there's certain language that they use under each of those, and there's certain charges that go through each of those roles. Yes? So we're going to look at that language and mirroring back to them using their denial of the EDP process as effectively their endorsement that they are liable for these bills. So let us come back to that, but we're very close. All right? Yes, thank you. Thanks, Dean. Thanks so much. Uh, we're going to take another caller. Uh... This is from Charlie, I believe. Uh, yeah. Hi, you're on. Uh, you're on with uh, Frank. Charlie, you there? Hi. I just. Uh, hi, Frank and Colin. Frank and Brian. Yeah. Hi. Hi, I'm Louis from uh, BC, Canada. I've uh, read the, on the site. There's. Uh, I can't remember exactly where it's so huge that. I lose track, but uh, there is a redemption for public money until the end of the year. This year, I believe, that's what I read. Uh, can you explain on that, and how does that work? Redemption of public money? Yes. Um, Unless I misread, but it, it, it seems to be pretty clear. Uh, the the system of the reserve um the Reserve Bank was, uh, redeems public funds or public money as it is now until the end of the year where That's right. public money yeah. will no longer have any values. That's right, yeah. Now, there's a couple of questions. I'll, I'll answer that. And I also want to, after this, uh, Brian, I just want to answer a couple of questions in the, in the, in the chat which people have asked about how is UK defunded and question about the Jesuits. So we'll come to that, so and where the credits come from and all that. So we'll come to those in a second. Okay, the, thanks. The... The original design of the credit system was giving a time frame for them, recognising that the architecture from which we're using is the same intrinsic principles that they are using on their system. And we're giving them a time frame in terms of being honourable. 
And the reason we're giving them a time frame is that in any kind of notorial procedure, any kind of administrative procedure, he who brings the controversy is, you know, must bring the remedy, must bring the relief. So what we were saying is that, that okay, you've, you've behaved dishonorably, you've done terrible things, but by the end of the year, if you honour this opportunity, then your currencies themselves can be redeemed. Now, I would suggest, given the behaviour that has not changed, and I would suggest given the behaviour that we continue to see uh, happen, that some of these things will be modified and that the redemption of public money um, with certain conditions will not extend beyond the end of this year. And after that, effectively, the criminal code, which renders all their currencies unlawful, uh, private currencies, not public money, they still have public money on the books, but their private currencies will, will be considered unlawful by UKDA and that will stay in play. So, yeah, I mean, those things are there. I'm not too sure what you want to know. Is, is it true or why? I'm not quite sure how you want to sort of add I, to that question. No, I just wanted to understand if this applied to the whole system or if it applied to individuals to trade in the... the um uh, current public money to uh, a new currency. That's what I want. No, what we would be saying to anyone is, is that if you are seeking public money, which is on the books still in the US, but they hide it, or Australia they hide it, or anywhere in the world they hide it, at no way does it apply to the members. This is merely applying to the source of these fiat notes that refuse to change and refuse to be accountable. They're the ones in the sites, not the users of those notes. And, and, and here's, here's the problem. Until you make a line in the sand and say, the use of gold and silver and precious stones, for example, cannot be used to underwrite currency because it is always being used by people who hoard it to corrupt. Until you make that statement, Unfortunately, what happens is people get sucked in every 70, 80 years to the reset button by the parasites. So there is a certain uncertainty amongst us all, and I, I'm included, which is until the system is running, I even need fiat notes of theirs. So we're all in the same boat that currently we are dependent on these private money systems for our survival, but only because we've geared our lives and we've geared our communities and we've geared our mind to depending on them. Once, the, once our currencies are running, it's our energy that we are now controlling. And I think it's going to be a bit of a mind shift and, and it will be a bit of an adjustment. But once it's living and real, I, I'm, I, I hope and trust that all of us, including myself, won't have that back of the mind angst of how do I survive? How do I buy bread? because I'm still relying on their private equity, their private currency notes. Yeah? I hope I answered that question. Um, let, me, let me just answer a couple of quick, quick queries that came into this uh, chat about how is UKDA funded, where does the credits come from, and the Jesuits. The first time that I received a donation of any amount, it was $500, and, I, and I'll say this openly, it was from, from Mary Croft. Mary Croft sent to me a donation of $500, which I was very grateful to receive. There has been no organisation. There has been no system of donations. There has been no patron. There has been no religious organisation. There has been no group other than Frank O'Collins and my own ability to earn a living that has funded UKDIA to this point. I have funded it on my own. I have sacrificed hundreds of thousands of dollars of my own effort to build UKDIA to this point. There is no other organisation. And by the way, that is written very clearly on the websites. Next question. 
where do the credits come from? Please read the Covenant of One Heaven where it makes it clear. I gave those that were on the call the links to two documents on Supreme Financial System. It actually answers it. Please read the charters. It's all there, how the credits are created. I, I, I make it clear that they come from the Treasury of One Heaven, ultimately underwriting, which is exactly the same model as the current system. Exactly the same model as the current system. Please read because it's there. There's nothing hidden of where the credits come from and how and why they're created and the logic of it. What we do is we perfect it though. Instead, the system currently says that money can be created in thin air, it can be destroyed. Under our system, we say, no, you can't destroy credits. Every credit is covered. Every credit has a provenance. Every credit has a history. Everything in our system is transparent. Please go and have a read of those things. Now, the other thing we say is that uh, another question was about Jesuits. Where is it? Uh, okay. Uh, Island Spirit. Frank, you said the Jesuits are the only ones that honoured your writs. They came together and had a meeting last year to uphold the canon. Um, will they help us? Well, <clears throat> The fact that I'm still living is probably <laughs> is probably good. The fact that I'm not in prison is probably good. Um, will they help? Look, the Jesuits have nothing... There is no formal relationship with the Jesuits. It is true that the Jesuits are the only group in the world that showed any kind of honour. But let's also be open and frank here about this as well. It is the Jesuits that are the custos rotolorum, that is, the keepers of the role. It is the Jesuits, ultimately, that hold us as slaves. It is the Jesuits that set up this system. It is the Jesuits that maintain the global financial system. It is the Jesuits that are the brains of the existing New World Order. So I make no... Um, pretense, I make no um, spin, I make no illusion that when we talk about the Jesuits, if you want to talk about the intellectual brains behind the current system and its evil implications, they're it. It happens that they also are the only ones that showed any honour and everybody else through lack of knowledge and stupidity or arrogance or whatever it was chose not to answer. But if they do not act this year, the day of judgment comes at the end of the year and they will be the first in the line to be dishonoured. Everything we do is based on the presumption that no one in their system will show any honour. <clears throat> but if I was a senior Jesuit and I was looking at what we're doing, everything we're doing ultimately is a fulfilment. And if they believe their own philosophies, if they believe their own belief system, then they should, by rights, honour and support us. Will they? I don't know. I mean, leaving us alone, I guess, is, is, a, is a, big, a big help. But will they continue? I don't know. I, I can't and I won't live my life trying to guess what they do. But that's the honest position of the Jesuits when it comes to Acadia. Um... Uh, Charlie 954 says is the system of reserve banks ready for the opening of individual accounts and if so no it's not ready when will it be ready it will definitely be ready in the next few weeks I can't give you a date I'm sorry but we are working on it what I can do is give you the background and the thinking to it and start to introduce the very important laws that underpin it and that's exactly what we've done tonight um, let's have a look uh, thank you for the definition by the way of extrinsic fraud um, I have heard of the definition of what you're saying I mean another way of describing it it would be um, another way of describing obstruction of justice Th their system has laws that are supposed to mean that judges are not practicing the law that judges are not uh, coming to court with a, a pre-arranged, pre-assigned prejudice that are not acting as prosecutors. There are laws that require the judges 
to produce 